Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about high HDLs may not be good for you. Hmm, we all know high density lipoproteins are meant to be good, the good cholesterol. They protect you from heart disease and that association is pretty robust, seems to be true. But over the last decade, there have been five or six studies now, one just two weeks or so ago, that showed that when you get over age 80, you may start having as much as a 27% increased risk for dementia. That's a problem. And a huge study from England, back, oh, almost a decade ago now, over you know large numbers, 400,000 some, showing that high HDLs have all-cause mortality increase. But there have been about a dozen studies, and they all show some of that same effect. There seems to be a U-shaped curve of increasing benefit up to about 80, but over 80 problems. Not always for men, not always for women, but certainly for men. Hmm. Well, we don't know how to lower that, and all we get are things like, you should exercise more and eat right. But let's just review briefly What's the role of HDLs? They are actually the shuttle bus for cholesterol back from the cell. Cholesterol is made only in the liver or when you eat animal, when you eat animal protein, you get cholesterol. But it's absolutely critical for membranes all over your body. Have to have cholesterol. It gives rig rigidity and strength to your membranes. And when you have enough, you can't digest it. So you have to ship it back to the liver to be put out in bile. So you have to have a taxi cab to take it back. What's most interesting is that it turns out HDA particles aren't just transport taxis. They also are protective of mitochondria. They play a role in reducing inflammation. So there's something more in depth to this function of HDLs. They certainly play a role in inducing nitric oxide, but it may be the other way around. Maybe the loss of nitric oxide reduces HDLs. That's going to take a couple of years to parse out. We're going to have to wait for that now that we have the ability to give nitric oxide. But coronary artery disease is caused by endothelial dysfunction not low HDLs. It's endothelial dysfunction and loss of nitric oxide in the cells that's the driver of the arterial dysfunction that then absorbs cholesterol that leads to plaque, that leads to rupture, that leads to a heart attack. But that's not the main driver. Those are just building blocks for the heart disease. The main driver is the endothelial dysfunction. I think we're going to get more uh, heart disease reduction from nitric oxide and plasmalogen therapy because I could never get my own HDLs up until I started taking plasmalogens. I'm now in the mid-50s. That's For me, I used to be in the 20s. That's great. This is Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition. HDLs may be risky when they're over 80.